Say hi. Hi. Say what's up. What's up? Say don't subscribe. forget to subscribe. 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 The sun is behind the clouds. It's a very cloudy day out here. <laughs> very cloudy. Oh, yeah, hopefully it doesn't rain. Uh-oh. Is it going to rain? Not yet. Not yet? Okay. All right. Hopefully if it rains, my hair doesn't get wet. Right? Yeah. Now say hi. Hola, namaste. Bonjour. Connie. She was. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. This is just gonna be a very quick update. It's about being productive as a freelance web developer who's not always able to stay in one location to do their work. It's important to have the right tools in order to get your job done. Obviously I enjoy working at home where I have my triple monitor set up. I have a dedicated workstation computer that I use for coding and for editing videos like the ones I put up on YouTube. But I'm not always home and I can't take my workstation computer with me, but I like to try to keep up my level of productivity if I can. So the way I do that is I have my MacBook Air. It's the 11 inch uh, MacBook Air. It's the 2012 edition, um, has four gigabytes of RAM, you know, has an SSD card in it, and it's not the highest powered uh, laptop, but it is extremely mobile. It's very easy to carry around. So I like carrying this around because the battery life is really good. I do keep the charger with me, so that enables me to plug it in whenever I need to charge it up. But it helps me to uh, maintain my productivity levels. Now, I don't always have it with me or something may happen where I can't take this out. And if I really need to look at code, if I need to refactor code while I'm on the go, you know, if I'm picking up my kids from school, and if I need to look at something for one reason or another, I have my cell phone with me at all times. And one of the cool things about cell phones is that you can actually edit code on them. I have a app on my iPhone called Textastic. It's a really cool app. And I actually have all my files that are synced in the cloud and I get to download them onto my cell phone. So right here I have one of my themes that I'm working on. And I have the code there, so I'm able to edit the code right here on my cell phone. Now, that is really cool. And if I'm not really interested in editing, but I just want to review the code, I get to just go up and down, line by line, scan the code. I can see all the files that I have. You know, it's synced properly with my computer at home, so that way what I have on my computer is uh, live synced over here as well. And that's really cool. That enables me to really be productive when I'm on the go. So if you are a freelancer, if you're thinking about becoming a freelance web designer and developer and you're trying to figure out how can you maintain your productivity, if you're always on the move, then this is how you do it. You have to make sure you have the proper tools. So since we all have cell phones, you know, we pretty much all have computers in our pockets nowadays, uh, you can get an app that is a text editor. Uh, you can get one for Android. I'm pretty sure there's like a million of them for Android and for the iOS um, system and ecosystem, you can get uh, Textastic, which is the one that I work with. It's really cool, feature rich. It has the type of functionality that enables you to sync with either Dropbox or your OneDrive or your Google Drive or any of your cloud drives. So I'm here waiting. I have some time before my daughter gets out of school. I have my son in the back seat there and he's just patiently waiting for us to go outside and I figured let me take some video about how to stay productive as a freelance web developer who might always be on the go. You're gonna have to find a way to adapt your mindset because one thing I always tell people is always great to be able to focus, to have 100% laser-like focus on the project you're working on without any distractions. But that's not the reality for most people. You know, when you got kids, when you got a family, when you have responsibilities, you have to run around, you gotta be able to adapt. And that kind of reminds me of a quote from Bruce Lee uh, where he says, be like water. You have to be able to go with the flow. You have to be able to adapt to your situation and your circumstances. That's what's gonna be the determining factor whether or not you're successful or you're not successful. Because if you're not able to adapt, if you're not able to go with the flow, then you're gonna find it very hard unless you have the lifestyle where you have no responsibilities and you have 
no one else depending on you and you don't have to run around where you could just stay focused at home, focus on coding and just take care of that. That may not be your situation. It's definitely not my situation. I'm always on the go. You could be a digital nomad this way or you need your cell phone, maybe a little laptop. It has to be mobile, lightweight and something that is powerful enough just to run a local web server. It's getting to be about that time that I should probably cut this off. I'm gonna go uh, get my daughter from school. She has a show today, so I'm gonna go take her to get her hair done and then take it from there. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification icon, and I will see you in the next video. All right, peace. <laughs> peace. Peace. Nice.